In this video, you will learn about the denial of service attack, otherwise known as DOS or DDoS when the attack is distributed. DOS is a very powerful attack in which the hacker makes the system or data unavailable to someone who needs it. This is how a DDoS may look. One hacker could take control of many computers and make a system or data unavailable to someone who needs it. There are many different ways you can do a denial of service attack. I will list four. The first way is browser redirection. The second way is closing connections. The third way is destruction of data. And the fourth way is resource exhaustion. Here is an example of browser redirection. A user requests a page to load. Let's say Disney.com. When the user requests to load a page, the hacker will redirect the user to another page, thereby creating a denial of service. The second way someone could do a denial of service attack is closing connections. For example, a hacker could close an open port and deny the user's access to the database. A hacker can also delete files leading to a resource not found error when someone requests that file. Or if the application is vulnerable to injection attacks, then the hacker can drop a database table and cause a denial of service attack. In a resource exhaustion attack, a hacker will repeatedly request access to a particular resource. They can overload the web application and cause it to slow down or crash by repeatedly reloading the page. In this video, you learned about denial of service. And for more videos like this, check out cybershallon.org. We aim to educate, equip, and empower.